guys. Today, we are talking about the best setup, the best software, the best apps for UI and UX designers. Even though this is specifically about UX design, because that's what I that's what I do, this honestly setup can be applied to, I feel like most jobs. So we are just gonna jump in and go over what my work setup is like. So let's talk about hardware. The laptop that I used for work, for personal, is the MacBook Air. 13 inch M1 with M1 chip. I have it right here. <laughs> I have it right here. This is my personal laptop and my work laptop are the exact same thing. I think this is a good choice for all people, but I'm also coming from the lens of a designer. Also, this is not a software, this is not a hardware tech channel. So I don't know the nitty gritty details about these things, but I just know the M1 chip provides some incredible performance. It's very quick. It's able to run design softwares without any issues. It's got great battery life. I think it's a 15 to 18 battery life without needing to be charged. The retina display is really crazy which again is really important for design because when your face is into the laptop, I want to make sure things are looking good. It's very lightweight. I think it's only 2.8 pounds. It fits into pretty much every bag, my work bag, any tote, so easy to carry and it's silent. It's like fanless, I believe. I remember guys, I used to have this clunky PC for the longest time. No hate to PC. I still like it. I still appreciate the merits of PC, but that thing was so damn loud. So I appreciate the smoothness and the quietness of this. I don't remember the price off the top of my head, but I'll put it on the screen. I think it's a pretty good value compared to other really high performing laptops. This MacBook Air M1 is a great balance of price and performance, which I think is a great laptop for any designer at any stage. That is what I use and that is what I recommend. I don't think you need anything super powerful. Like you don't need a supercomputer to be a UX designer. You just need a laptop that you can carry around that's got good storage and can render things, your designs quickly, no delays. Now let's move on to software. And you guys probably already know this and this is design specific. It is Figma. I don't even, I didn't even really learn <laughs> Sketch XD. I don't know what's happening with XD. Figma is the only tool that you will need as a UX designer. If you know Figma, you're in the clear because that is what everybody is using or they should be using. If you're not using Figma, it's a little bit of a red flag. So keep that in mind. Figma is entirely cloud-based, whether you're on like the web browser or you have the downloaded app, it's all cloud-based. All of your work is continually saving. You never have to worry about that. I remember in interior design, there were so many times I would lose work and I would lose files. That doesn't happen with Figma. Figma is really like the meat in potatoes because whenever I'm building a design, I'm building it in Figma or in Fake Jam. That is where I'm going. If it's not paper and pen, it's Figma. It got great components, design systems, libraries, the community pages are really good, tons of plugins, good wireframing and prototyping tools. They just released, I don't think it's actually out yet, but they had their big conference a few weeks ago and they have a slew of AI things coming into Figma. So it's really exciting what's happening with Figma. So this is the only design software that you guys are gonna need. Since we're talking about design and design software, I just wanted to shout out the sponsor of this portion of the video, which is Springboard. If you're looking to get into UX design, take your design skills to the next level, Springboard offers fantastic bootcamp, specifically UX and UI boot camps are definitely worth taking a look at. They have a comprehensive curriculum that is specifically tailored to UX designers. Everything I learned in my boot camp, it is applicable to my job right now as a designer. They have hands-on real world projects. They've got one-on-one -on -one mentorships. You're never just flailing on your own because a lot of it is self-guided, but the mentors come in so clutch because I can't even tell you how many times I had to like ask my mentor all kinds of different questions of helping me through the projects or anything I didn't understand. And the mentors themselves are designers that have been working in the field a long time. So they are an excellent resource that you get when you're a part of a boot camp. And of course they have their job guarantee upon completion as well as six months of career coaching once you complete your boot camp. So the next cohort begins August 5th. So you're kind of winding down your summer a little bit. It's a great time to get into it, but the deadline to be in that August 5th class to be there day one is July 31st. So it's the end of this month. So by the time this video goes up, you've got about under two weeks to get your application in. So I have a code for you guys to get a thousand dollars off this course or any of the courses. Use the code Stephanie M 
as you're getting started to get that discount. I always recommend Springboard to you guys. Take a look at what they have to offer and see if it makes sense for you. I have two other apps, websites that I like to use in terms of productivity. My absolute favorite one is Flow, which is the Focus and Pomodoro Timer Method. It's perfect for breaking down tasks and staying on track. I use the web version because I don't even trust myself sometimes guys when it's on my phone because you can get it on your Mac or you can get it on your phone as well. I do have both, but if I know I need to be focusing, I don't even want my phone next to me. So I like to use the web version. It pretty much structures your time into different intervals. I think the standard one is 25 minutes, but you can adjust it. So you have to work uninterrupted for 25 minutes and then you get a five minute break. And you do the same thing again, that Pomodoro technique. Just helps me stay focused, stay organized. You can also view your progress if that's also a good metric for you to kind of keep consistent and productive. So I like it, I like the interface. I really wanna get shit done, guys. This is what I go for. The other one, of course, is the big boss itself, Notion. Notion's not everybody's thing, but I think you gotta give it a shot and see if it sticks. And for me, it has stuck. If I'm not taking notes like pen and paper in my notebook, I can track of everything in Notion because Obviously I type faster than I can write. So it's good to just manage my notes all in like one centralized location. I can track all my project tasks, any, doc any documentation, any links or anything like that. At my company, we do have like AHA and Confluence and like other tools that they give us, but this is my own personal workspace. So I like that I kind of have that control over it. They've got good collaboration. People can comment and edit in line while you're also in there as well. You can share out things from there. Kind of just have one big brain workspace is really kind of how I describe Notion. I've got so many pages of things. <laughs> like I use it for work, but I also have my personal one where I plan my vacations, where I do my monthly goals, yearly goals, where I, what else do I do in my, my personal? I keep track of my brand deals and sponsorships and YouTube video ideas, all of that lives in Notion. The drag and drop functionality is simple. Their formatting is easy to use. It's just, you get in there and you're like, okay, I feel like I already kind of have a good grasp on that. So that is my go-to when it comes to notes and project tracking and keeping everything that's in my brain out of my brain <laughs> and into the cloud. That is my setup for my laptop, my design software, and then all the productivity apps that keep me organized and keep me on track. So hopefully you guys found this helpful. Don't forget to check out Springboard. The link is down in my description box. Use code Stephanie M to get $1,000 off any of the boot camps. Obviously UX UI is what I recommend. Now that you see my setup, you're probably interested in what I actually do all day. So check out this video here where I go over a day in the life as a UX designer.